Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have come together to debate the motion that watching age group approved TV reality shows is a good way for teenagers to learn about human relationships. Part of the complexity of this debate today comes from the, from, comes from the range of shows that reality TV covers. So for the purposes of clarity and feasibility, we have chosen to use the most watched non-scripted TV shows that involve non-professional actors as the basis of our debate. These include shows such as American Idol, The Apprentice, and Survivor. It's also important to take into consideration the words, it's a good way to learn. Please note, ladies and gentlemen, the motion doesn't say that reality show is the only way to learn or even the best way to learn, but simply one good way to learn about human relationships, which is what we'll be arguing today. Finally, to learn can be basically taken as the acquisition of knowledge or new insights. I'll explain to you how the basic premise of a reality show is didactic by nature. I will also demonstrate that reality shows beat out scripted ones when it comes to learning about human relationships. Our second speaker will explain that most of the reality shows today are showing at prime time on sense of television and do in fact reflect our society's values and thus are good platforms for teenagers to learn. <coughs> our second speaker, our third speaker will sum up our case. Ladies and gentlemen, we say that when real people participate on reality TV shows, then we really learn about human relationships. Reality shows by their very nature are didactic. Everyone watches to see how the participants will react and or perform. How many times have you turned off a movie or TV shows <clears throat> because you knew what was going to happen next or how it would end? As soon as you can guess, it is no longer interesting. But who could possibly turn off a season finale of Survivor or American Idol? We continue to watch because we want to know. <clears throat> no, need to find out what the final outcome will be and why. And finding out is learning. This intense feeling of wanting to know makes reality TV shows excellent platforms for learning. How much learning would take place in school if the motivation was this high? Furthermore, when we want to learn about human behavior, reality shows almost always beat up scripted ones. Scripted shows are contrived and follow predictable plots by glamorous but out of touch Hollywood actors in unrealistic settings, but not reality shows. If you really wanted to know what it would be like to work in a high-stressed corporate world under a megalomaniac boss, what would you do? Would you watch Donald Trump's <coughs> The Apprentice? Or do you think Michael Douglas's Wall Street <coughs> theme is more realistic? Ladies and gentlemen, when real people participate on reality shows, then we really learn about human relationships, and therefore the motion must stand. Thank you. After the ladies and gentlemen, some people today often try to discredit reality shows by picking on a few unpleasant examples. But we must not fall victim to the fallacy of dramatic instance. We all know that a few best examples are not the overall whole. Let's, uh, let's not allow a few pit petty examples to cloud our ability to reason. The question before us today, ladies and gentlemen, is can teenagers learn both good and bad things about human relationships from reality shows? And we say that when real people participate on reality TV shows, then we really learn about human relationships. And so the answer is an emphatic yes. But before I begin my main argument, let me address a few erroneous comments made by the negative team. They say teenagers may see inappropriate actions or undesirable forms of behavior. And we say that this is a part of learning of about human relationships. You gotta get the, take the good with the bad. They try to discredit reality shows by bringing up a few bad examples. But let's remember, these are a few exceptions and they don't represent overall whole. Now I would like to turn to my main argument. The popular reality shows we have mentioned today are all aired during prime time on major television networks. And according to the ratings company Asin Nielsen, most of the prime time reality shows 
I like watched by the entire family, which, by the way, no other prime time show can boast. Furthermore, CNN Entertainment claims that reality shows rank high in popularity, contain more to no violence, and offer unfiltered and sincere glimpses into the human psyche. Some of these glimpses can be unpleasant, but this is at the cost of reality. And let's not forget, forget the overall message of these shows. American Idol, believe in yourself, do your best, and you might make it to the top. Survivor, adapt to your surroundings. Be a good team member and you will survive. The Apprentice, work hard, be a fair leader, work as a team, and you will get promoted. And following these wisdoms might just get you through to the next right in life. Don't, and you either be fired or get yourself kicked off the island. Thus, in a nutshell, reality shows are popular among families because they reinforce our values, such as believe in yourself, work hard, and be good to your fellow team members. How can the negative team possibly be opposed to teenagers learning about these values? Ladies and gentlemen, we say that when real people participate on reality shows, then we really learn about human relationships, and therefore the motion must stand. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our debate this afternoon will soon draw to a close. We have been asked today whether or not watching reality shows is one good way of teenagers learning about human relationships. And from the very beginning, we have insisted that when real people participate on reality shows, that we really learn about human relationships. But before I begin my case, let me address a few errors committed by the negative team. They say teenagers may see inappropriate action or undesirable forms of behavior, and we say that this is a part of learning about human relationships. You've got to take the good with the bad. They say that reality shows are not completely real, but we aren't here to debate about that. We are here to debate whether or not teenagers can learn about relationships. Now, if I may, I would like to summarize our case. Our first speaker drew your attention to the fact that reality shows are didactic in their very nature because people were so keen to watch them, and therefore this made them per excellent educational platforms and they captivate their audience. This over enthusiastic motivation is the key to getting the teenagers to learn. We were rhetorically asked how much learning could take place in school if they have the same level of motivation. Furthermore, she told us that scripted shows can't compare to reality shows when it comes to teaching us about human relationships. She explained that shows such as The Apprentice are raw, intense, and real, while scripted shows are contrived, unrealistic, and out of touch. She drove the point home well when she said you could easily turn off the typical TV drama due to boredom, but no one in their right mind could turn off the final episode or final episode of Survivor or American Idol. Our second speaker spent time emphasizing that AC Lucid ranks reality shows as the most popular prime time shows for families, and CNN Entertainment recognizes that reality shows are popular among people due to their low violence and unique insight into human psyche. Finally, there are now shows that the whole family can sit down and watch together without someone being hacked to pieces or shot at. He then ended his argument by summing up the values that reality shows conveyed, believe in yourself, work hard, and treat your team members well. And if the negative team can't see that this value should be taught to our teenagers, then perhaps they're the one that should be fired or kicked off the island. Human relationships, and we say that when real people participate.